used to think if I couldn't find hope, I should just let it all go. I used to think if I couldn't make dreams come true, I should just let them all go. When life seems And um, I'm hoping that you have brought your learning tools, particularly your Bible, pen, highlighter, paper, whatever you need. We're going to be ready to start the subject of love. And we're going to begin with John 3.16. So I'll give you a moment to find that scripture. You may also want to Google that, John 3.16. That is a New Testament book. And again, we're getting ready to discuss the subject of love okay this is a spiritual perspective 316 and it states for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life hopefully you wrote that down okay we're going to get to that in just a second now we're going to skip on further in the New Testament, and we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 3.16. Everybody knows about 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13 was basically dedicated to the subject of love. Now we're going to be discovering this word for ourselves, okay? Um, not for anybody else, but for yourself. But we're going to start from a biblical perspective, okay? With a spiritual perspective perspective okay if that makes sense to you at all and again that's first corinthians 13 okay and it says and the title is love is the greatest gift okay though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity i am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal and though i have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all of my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaineth not itself or vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I'm going to stop right there, okay? I'm going to stop right there, okay? We're going to move on to the last one, which is John 13 and 34. and 30 wait a minute is that first john 13 34 give me just a second y'all let me pause let me make sure i got people that's 
first John, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. So you will have to go towards the very, very end of the book. So it's first John. There are three Johns. Okay, towards the end. So we want the first epistle, John, chapter 3, and verse 11. And it says, For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. All right, so just write it down. You can um, or Google it, First John 3 and 11. This was the last script dealt with kind of a spiritual order or maybe even a religious order, but what do we mean when we say love, when we use the term love, okay? So um, to demonstrate my perspective to you regarding love, okay? This is your spiritual perspective, your spiritual side. We're going to say G-I-L. That's God is love, okay? God is love. I'll bring that down a little bit. And on this side, we're going to have love of us. So we got some Siamese twins here. We got Gil, God is love, and the love of God. And God's love gave. He gave. Okay? And the love of us, as in 1 Corinthians, it deals with kindness we dealt with giving it dealt with caring just talked about the poor okay it also dealt with jealousy now get this gets what Acronym is in jealousy. Lou. Now, in the first epistle of John, the next verse dealt with the love. It says, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. That's the next verse. Well, we're not going to discuss that right now. But it's funny that the love of us, when we deal with jealousy, because it talked about envy things, 1 Corinthians 13, we have jealousy. It's funny. Lou is in this. But love can't be all of this. So when we're defining something, we need to be very precise about what we're saying. Because when we don't know, we abuse. Okay? These, to me, are like ingredients. The antidotes to love, or what the Bible referred to as charity. Now, for us today, charity is what? Giving. Giving to the poor, the disenfranchised. Okay? But 1 Corinthians said you can do all of that and still don't have love. And from a spiritual perspective, that's my perspective, that could be either way. You could be doing great things for people and not getting the love in return. Or it could be vice versa. You know, people loving you and you not loving them back. But what does that mean? Because oftentimes we think love is based on how we feel. But I'm asking you today, when it comes to love, how do you, excuse me, think? That's my spiritual perspective. Until next time, namaste. Stay tuned for your monthly forecast. All right, what's going on, bows and sunbows? Welcome to the Soul Station with the Spiritual Bee. I hope you're doing well. Hope you checked out the intro. Session one, lesson one of this new transition that we are in. We're in transition, okay? That's that's not all of it, okay? I'm, it's still work being done, but nonetheless, 
um, I was nudged to move forward. So this is your August forecast. And um, this is kind of going to be the paradigm for how long I do not know. Because, you know, life changes. You know, we got to roll with the punches. And I just look at it as my baby is growing. So you know how it is when we're growing up. We start to, like, transform, you know. Nothing stays the same. So, anyway, um, if you have not already thumbs up this video, you can do that now. All right. Don't try to make the messages fit just quick. But if they fit, please knit. I hope you all had a chance to check out the T.D. Jakes. Um, mini, uh, T.D. TD Jakes' ministry. Something he was teaching on. Uh it's been over two weeks now. I put it in this, the description box two weeks ago. It's called uh, The Dividends of Trust or something like that. Well, I, I, I really love his teachings, but um, he talked about the quilt. And um, I was so glad that I had come across that message, you know, because I'm always talking about the importance of a quilt. But what I love about the message is that he gave me information I wasn't aware of. And I'm just telling you, you should check it out. I did put that uh, link, um, well, the information. I think I, I don't know if it was a link or not, but I did put it in the description box. So check it out. It's real good. Okay, so uh, for the month of August, you have Venus in the sword energy or the blade energy is your external. And internally, you're dealing with the cups of the hearts of Neptune. You have 28, 28 may be significant to you. It may be your age, uh, the date of your birth, okay? Um, could be $28, I don't know, 28 times, but it's too significant, okay? Now, well, this is definitely, without a, without a doubt, hands down, um, who you want to share with, who you want to share your time with, where you want to be, who you want to partner up with, who you want to commit to, what you want to nurture. This is about being domesticated and thinking about what you can do at home. Something You want to do something different, something unique. Something never heard of, you know, you want to, you want to make it special, you know what I'm saying? Uh, something um, off the top of your head. Something that's beautiful. I'm also hearing serious, but off the top of your head. Now, when I think, I, I, I see like your heart is stirred this month. You Like your heart is stirred. And you are thinking of all the ways you can um, better situations, make people feel better. Um, I don't know if you cook, if you know, you want to um, nurture and, and, and make sure... It, you, maybe you're just at that stage. Like I said, maybe you're 28 years of age. Maybe at that stage where you're ready to nurture. Maybe you're thinking like, it's time for me to have a mate. Maybe I should, you know, um, start thinking more about, maybe you think about being a housewife. Okay, some of you think about being a housewife. Um, you're thinking about your partner. You know, where, where are we going? You know, because we need to try something different. This may be something sexual. You know, something you've never done before sexually. This could be uh, going places that you never thought you would go before. You know, just out on a whim, you know, and who knows what kind of outcome you will have. You may turn it into a money-making opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Um... But 
I see uh, some of you, this is, you know, like I said, a domestic, because Venus is very domestic in every way, okay? And she likes the comforts. And you're thinking about that comfort, you know, are you comfortable? What can make you comfortable, you know? And, and, and a lot of you uh, are really are ready to uh, move on your dreams, okay? Move on your dreams. It's, 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 it's odd, you know, it's different, and maybe nobody's done it before, and that's good. It's original. You have external moon energies coming from Leo this month, and internally you're dealing with the wolf, okay? So somebody may be born in a time of a wolf. Um... It is important to guard against being self-centered, over-opinionated, or pushy. And then we have wolf energy that says beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. Because, you know, we can't get carried away when we're caught up in the newness of life, you know, or when we're learning something different, you know, trying something different, this exciting, you know, you might need to, you know, temper it. Um... Cause see, the wolf is very honed in on what he wants, you know, he's ready to go, you know, sets his sights on and he's ready, you know, it's, it's and shit, you know what I'm saying? So you may want to, um, find ways to decrease your appetite, you know what I'm saying? You know, curb your appetite, you know what I'm saying? And, um. Try not to be offensive, okay? Try not to be offensive, you know, because... Well, it's not even trying to be offensive, but don't take people wrong because they can't feel your loving energy. You know what I'm saying? It's just, they're just not ready for it. Just don't share it with them. You know, because sometimes your light can be too bright. It's just like the sun. It's no different than the sun. Your light can be too bright. It'll blind you. It hurts. It upset people. You know, sometimes it's true. It's sad to say that, but it is true. Okay? And just dim it with them and move on. Even the sages say sometimes you got to dim that light. Okay? Overall energy is the four of pentacles. Okay? And that is based on the knight of wands. Oh, it's that Princess of Wands. No, that's the Nine of Wands, all right. That's Nine of Wands, okay? Expect the Ace of Cups. All coming out of the Queen Pin energy. And you have Death as your outcome, okay? And your underlining is Jesus, okay? The, the light, the, 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 what they, they say is the light of the world, right? All right. So, um... The underlying energy is that taking the taking the high road this month, taking the high road. That what would Jesus do? You know that turning the other cheek. All right, that's the energy I'm feeling from you all this month. Okay, you know the subject is love. We haven't even gotten deep into the situation, you know, but just certain steps. But, you know, sometimes when you love, you got to walk away or you got to let others go, you know. Um, you can't take everybody with you, you know. So, I'm feeling like some heartfelt energy here, like some, almost like some goodbyes here. Um, or just some release, you know. Um, I'm here in the wilderness, you know, the 40 days and the 40 nights. I don't know who's that for, but it's for somebody. Cause this is some this is searching your heart, searching the truth, you know. Kind of puts me in the mind of uh, 
Moses when he went to the burning bush and questioned God. You know, he needed some answers. Now, I see your overall energy is this four of pentacles, and maybe you do because the four of pentacles represent the foundation of things, you know, uh, establishing a foundation, building something. This is the this is the beginning level, okay? Um, this is my... Um, I'm hearing Nino, you know, this is my Nino Brown kind of energy, you know. First, they had that little money, but then when they found the product that was, you know, this is my Master P energy, you know. It was all broken in the dirty, dirty south of, Lou, of Louis, or New Orleans, or however they pronounce it, and, you know, out of a passing you know, he receives inheritance and begins to build. But he already had the vision. He already had the vision. He already had the dream. He already knew what he wanted to do. Because people be thinking a lot of times overnight success is overnight. It is not. You do not know the beginnings when they were. The beginning of success began. You didn't even see it. It was the little classes that the parents was putting you in. And you was taking up in school. And uh, the the things that you were chasing out there that you, you know, uh, felt would get you where you wanted to be in life and you got lessons there and experiences there and you moved on. That's a lot of times that's how I call and go. You just, you're picking up on a lot of things and experience because that's what God uses, someone experienced, you know. And this is the beginning of experience, okay. Now, somebody may be uh, focusing on getting gold, gold, a gold, or I don't know if this is getting a gold or a grill, but your, a gold tooth is important to somebody. It's important to somebody. So, you thinking about that? Like, the foundation of your look, how you want your look to go, you know? Maybe you build it on that look because teeth are expensive. Okay, and your energy is coming out of Queen Pen, so you got plans on whatever it is. You just don't have a whole lot of it, you know. You have to balance your money, manage your money well, manage your time well. You have to manage your energy well, but you're definitely in um, gestation period, and some of you are in manifestation cycle. Okay. And those who are in the manifestation cycle, you're definitely on the move in promoting yourself and putting yourself out there, letting people know. Maybe even paying for press. I don't know, like, you can do all that on social media, you know what I'm saying? You pay extra money to boost yourself, boost your, boost your information, your sales, your product, whatever. And I see that you are looking wholeheartedly at that because somebody is walking away. But it was after really, really taking a hard look at a plan at a position, at an offer. I'm hearing success. Okay. You know, taking a little and making a lot. Because this is definitely, for me, this is enough. Like, when I see the four pentacles, I'm like, you got enough for where you are. You know, it doesn't matter. To, you may not be high income, but you do good. You know, you, you, you're not necessarily asking anybody for anything. That could be what is so strange, you know, within your groups. Whatever groups you are in. Work groups, family groups, you know, community groups. I don't know. But we're going to get a reason for why we are looking at this pentacle, at this plan, at this idea, at this money. Something that we, you want to push. Something that you've uh, been heralding about. It's news. It's news for you. It's news. Yeah, there's some confusion here, okay? There is confusion here. Not sure about the path, okay? Not sure about the path. All right? What's the reason here? We have Prince of Swords and, yeah, you ready to try something. You ready to put yourself out there. You know, maybe you've done it already before. 
this is maybe this is a plan that you pick up again because sometimes we have to shelf ideas and plans you know because some of us we have to get back to work you know um, we don't have the privilege of just building an empire you know we gotta balance it and, it, and you know, I, I still think about that man, this documentaries that you know, I love documentaries and history and things of that nature. I love art, you know, and I I I just love people's stories. And oh, we, my me and my former, we used to watch these stories about people and their art and how they transform. And they would talk about how long it took them to before the universe opened up to him. And this man, this he's an artist, he said 38 years, 38 years. I keep telling you, I'll never forget, I met that woman a long time ago. She said 10 years, she couldn't get a job. I did not believe her until I started having my trials. That's why I say be careful who you judge because tomorrow you're gonna be experiencing something behind that judgment. I'm speaking from experience. Okay, and that's what we're looking at here, experience. Okay, you ready to go with it? And I see that there is a warm offer in place this month. I don't know if it's you or someone else. You know, come, you know, come in, come on, you know, let me help you. These are, this is a, a, a handsome or wholesome offer. Some of you may be holistic in nature and what you're trying to do. And I see that some of you are trying to tie something together in love. You know, it's kind of like love and business here. Trying to put it together, trying to make it. It's like, what I see is like, you got yours, I got mine, but somehow we can wrap it up in one thing and make it something very special, you know. Maybe you got one thing over here and you got one thing over there, but you 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 tying it all together. Um, even though it's separate, it's like say for instance, you got something that's maybe you do two genres of music, but somehow it's it's wrapped in love. Whatever it is, it's really wrapped in love. That's that's what it is. That's the wrapping. It's tied up in love, pure love, openness, caring and sharing. This is love. And some of you are trying to figure out who you can share it with. This is what's on your mind. You're in the swords. You may even want to speak to somebody about this. Or you may be writing about this, you know. I hear book, yeah. So you've been investing, you've been buying some things, materials or whether or not that you've been trying. Like I said, some of you, you've done this before. You've invested and tried this before. Now you're just kind of ready to um, nudge your head, push your head, you know, fulfill the mission, whatever it is. I keep hearing C. It's like somebody's showing they go too. I think somebody can get a go too. <laughs> C. Uh, something special about it. I don't know what it is. Maybe, you know, sometimes people mimic uh, parents, you know, uh, people that have passed on or somebody that they admire, their muse and whatnot, but it's like C, you know. But yeah, it's hard energy here, you know. It's still a struggle here, a financial struggle, struggle getting your plans. And I feel like you got two things going on at the same time, but and they're they, they're the same, but they're different. And the love for you is the same, and you want the same thing, you know. Um, what it is is kind of like I put it like, you know how people share the same drink, you know, like lovers sharing the same drink, but they have their own straw. Is sharing the same drink, okay? It's something special here, special this month. Maybe you're having a special, 
okay? I don't know if it's food, music, um, online special, I don't know. However, you'll probably be put, the outcome looks like you're going to be put to a stop, but it looks like it's by outside forces some type of way. Um... horoscopes are important here. I'm hearing swastika. Okay, so if you online, you may be slowed down, halted, Temporarily held up. I'm also hearing somebody is trying to. This seems like an official. They're trying to. They want to. They hold it up because they're trying to. Pick you. Pick what you know. Like they want to. Pick at what you know. Like in the know. Like they want to be in the know. They picking at it. Like pulling hairs. What's that saying? Like just splitting hairs. Okay, and then for others, it's kind of like check your nose, like make sure your nose, something about your nose, your nose is clean. It's like some type of, I don't know if these are copyright protections or something. Just have to make sure that everything is on the up and up, that it's clean, that it's right. It's kind of like it's a check. It's like a, I don't know if this is you or someone outside of you. Some of you like you ain't up to nothing. Just I don't know where this is coming from. All of this good, beautiful energy. And then the end is. Hold on for a minute. Let me fuck with you for a quick second. Let me see what you up to. Let me make sure you right. Let me, let me make sure. I don't know. I'm like a security check here. Now, some of you, you may shed tears out of frustration, not understanding what the hell is going on, but I promise you, it will live. Piece of jewelry. I don't. Now this may be about um, insuring some jewelry, or insuring a ring, making sure some ring is protected. But some, you want somebody to be, you want somebody to be quiet about it, or they want you to be quiet about it. Must be, it's got to be very significant. But it's based on this promoter, you know, this advertising. 
This could have been an advertisement. I feel like somebody wants somebody to be quiet about so, about a ring. Usually that's engagement to me. Usually they want you to be quiet about something. This this could be a proposal, but it could also be um, symbolic for a, a, a certain type of commitment. But it's, you know, you, you got to keep it on the hush for a while, for whatever reason. I'm going to sum it up this month. Oh, man, I'm going to sum it up for this month. So, work, money, and rope. There you go. And romance. Okay. So, you have Trey. Okay. Trey. You know, sometimes that's somebody's name. Maybe about the plans, you know, about food service of some type. Desserts. I said they did not. Mm hmm That may be what you have to be quiet about. Now, let's look at his cap. Cap, okay? A flap, gap, lap. Maybe a laptop sitting on somebody's lap. Map, nap, rap, sap, tap, zap, clap, slap, strap, trap, and snap. Okay? Those words could be of significance this month. And let's get you an angel message. Remember, I will be following up with you for mid-month report. Okay. I don't know if I want to call it mid-month. You have the angel of synthesis. I told you y'all was putting something together. I cannot fabricate this. It, this the evidence just be rolling out. Okay. In the white light of my soul, I see the synthesis of who I am. And this is the synthesis, I'm telling you. You never know what's going to come out of these cards. You never know. I'm for an intuitive. They may got readers, and they're going to tell you the same stuff. An intuitive, you never know what's going to come out. Okay. Synthesis is a key quality for understanding what the future brings. The energy of appreciation is very important in order to understand the meaning of synthesis in our lives without becoming victims of what happens. Because when you create, and shit's going to happen. Okay? That's in, in this. All right? With the quality of synthesis, we develop the ability to see unity in diversity, and we open the way to the inner wisdom that brings wonderful synchronicity. Did I say that right? Secretocracy into our lives. And that's what this Ace of Cups is representing, secretocracy, okay? Bringing it together in sync. That one cup that we sipping out of together. You know what I'm saying? She's putting out the original spirit vibe oracle deck. And while I do that, please remember to support the Soul Station. Thank you so much. Also, if you would like to... Uh, contribute to the soul station please check the links below in the description box thank you very much okay source bowls and some bowls is ready whatever message you would like for me right. got a scratch off i don't know if that's an actual scratch off you may have to be quiet about you know when you're winning money scratching somebody off check your mailbox okay and i'm gonna leave it on that note thank you so much for dropping by here at the soul station i can't wait to bring you your follow-up report but until then you know just do whatever it takes to make you happy you know as long as it's bright and good do whatever it takes to make you happy and whatever keeps you at peace and love I should just let it all go.